Hai watu wangu mkwaje ni so guys hii video yenye nafanya hapa Nita sita simama na agent sita simama na wakenya wenye wako golf sita simama na warabu I just want to share my opinions right and you share your yours are the comment section okay So guys waka, wacheni nianzie na ma agent agent wewe mwenye unasikia hii video wakati ambao Kadama akiwa golf anakupigianga simu anakwambia ajalipwa for two months for three months ni ni, ni uwa unafanya aje huwa una block huyo kadama huwa unapiga simu haraka haraka kwa ofisi ya Saudi Arabia ama huwa unamuitisha contract yake unapigia boss wake simu hmm? nataka tu niwapeleke tu pole pole aya na wewe kama kadama wakati ambao umekaa kwa nyumba ya Mwarabu ni pesa ilikupeleka hapo right inakuanga aje unagoja mwezi wa kwanza mwezi wa pili mwezi wa tatu au jalipwa na bado unaendelea na kufanya kazi ni kama we ni robot ni kama wewe una mahitaji ni kama una wazazi nataka tuongeleshane leo Okay this goes to all Kenyans in Gulf countries again. Wakati ambao unapigia uh, agent simu anakosa kushika ama maybe anaku block. There is always a second chance. Maybe you are in Saudi Arabia. You are supposed to call Kenyan embassy in Saudi Arabia to assist you. And this is why guys I told you you should make Google your best friend. Mimi hata huwa napigia watu wa Kenya na embassy naongea na wao tunasalimiana ile salamu tu ya kawaida Si wapigiangi nikiwa na shida ama nini Aya kama Kenya na embassy imekataa kukusaidia una, u, 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 unaongea na ofisi ya Saudi Arabia Okay ofisi ya Saudi Arabia maybe imekataa kukusaidia umeongea na ofisi ya Kenya Okay Ofisi ya Kenya imekataa kukusaidia na to make the matter worse they have blocked you. Ofisi ofisi hiyo oh, ofisi yako ya Kenya imeandikwa na nani? Hiyo ofisi yako imea hiyo agents imeandikwa na National Employment Authority Company, NEA. That is when nasemanga kama agent ameku block na uko na evidence na umemwambia mpaka salari ya miezi tatu ujapata na uko na clear evidence na ajajibu na ameona message screenshot send it to your mtu mmoja mwenye wako Kenya okay huyo mtu mwenye wako Kenya mtume aende kwa ofisi akienda kwa ofisi aonyeshane hiyo utashughulikiwa haraka kama hawata kushughulikia enda uripoti hiyo agency kwa NEA ama maybe you can call the toll number inakuanga free ukiwa hapa Saudi Arabia u call toll number inakuanga free as long as unajua uko city gani uko exit gani na uko district gani na uko na uko province gani hizo vitu as long as ujui hizo vitu usijisumbue ukipiga, ukipiga toll number free toll number Again guys Niko kwa nyinyi tu wa Kenya Tunakuanga tumepewa 3 months of probation period that is 90 days Za kuangalia kama utaona red flag kwa hiyo nyumba na hata imeandikwa kwa contract letter yako Na nashindianga kuambia kila saa red flag zenye zina zinapaswa una paswa kuziona alafu useme urudisho kwa ofisi ama urudisho Kenya Mwarabu analipangwa pesa yake after three months That is kama umeitikia kufanya hiyo nyumba Ndio maana wengi wenu mnaonanga umemaliza five months umeanza kusumbuliwa unasema unataka kurudi Kenya Mwarabu anakwambia please return my money Sijui kama wengi wenu wakati ambao na by the way inakuanga hivi wacheni ni wasomeshe hizi vitu maybe hakuna mtu anawaambianga hizi vitu according to the law according to the contract yenye huwa mna sign 
go and previsit it inasema wakati ambao wewe umejitaminatia contract yako maybe umemaliza miezi tisa ama mwaka mmoja ukasema unataka kwenda nyumbani bosu wako afai kukulipia ticket wewe ndio unafaa kutoa pesa yako akukatie ticket nayo again kama mwarabu wako amekukatisha kazi kama tu years azijaisha ni yeye anapaswa in fact hata anapaswa kukulipa the remaining months according to the law of Saudi Arabia Hmm? I don't know if you guys you know even in Germany kama mkenya amekatizwa kazi anafaa alipwe mwaka mmoja full Same applied to Saudi Arabia kama mwarabu amekukatisha kazi anafaa akulipe full hizo miezi zote zenye zimebaki Again kama mwarabu amekukatisha nini contract anafaa akulipie Uh, nini ticket urudi kwenu Do you guys know kuna watu wanarushwa kwa deportation center kuna wengine wanaenda wanaachwa kwa air, air, uh, kwa ma airport kuna wengine hata wanalipiwa ticket wanarudi Kenya kama hawajamaliza contract and this is the reason as to why niliwaambia ukikuja gulf usichekecheke na wale watu wenye umeacha Kenya Even if it is your mother don't even try to entertain her with your salary. Let the hatred be lakini you save as wise as you can. Unakuja hapa marafiki wanaanza kuku sasa hizo ndio ukishafika hapa ndio watu wanataka kukuad kwa groups za matanga za rusi sasa sijui what za kulipia sijui nani university eh hey? vile ulikuwa Kenya hata hakuna mtu alikuwa anakurecognize ulikuwa unaitwa majina yote mpaka na mamako sasa hii umekuja hapa ndio sasa mamako ameona oh mtoto wangu wake alienda majuu oh sijui nini hmm? Hati mamako saa hizo yeye ndio anavaa ile nguo latest. Ju mtoto wake anafanya kazi Lebanon. Mamako ndio anashukwa latest style. Ju mtoto wake anafanya kazi Bahrain. Mamako ndio yani chama zote ameingia. Ju mtoto wake yako nini Jordan. Na wewe utaki laana kutoka kwa mzazi unatumia mamako pesa yote ni kama ulikuja hapa kufanyia mamako kazi. I'm sorry to say this but I've seen so many Kenyans crying just because of their parents. Wakati ambao ulikuwa Kenya ni, uh, yes I know we should not forget about our parents. Lakini umefika hapa Oh mamako amebomoa nyumba amekwambia lazima unijengea nyumba ingine. Oh sijui nini. Kuna laana zingine hata aziezi pata nini? Aziezi pata mtu. Hata akikwambia atakulaani juu utaki kumjengea nyumba, juu utaki aingie chama, juu utaki avae latest design na wewe mwenyewe unatesekea Lebanon hata ulali au kuli. Let her curse you. Hiyo curse hata yezi enda mahali. Guys, hata kuna show zingine mnaonanga tukifanya hapa na watu wenye wako hapa Gulf. Wakifanya confession, wakisema mimi na mamangu sitawahi musamehe. Ha, kwa sababu after kukuja hapa imekuwa hivi na hivi. I have so many cases guys, zingine hata siezi nikaziongelelea. Watu wamekosana na wamama na their parents, their sisters, their brothers. Hmm? Yaani umekuja Saudi Arabia, umekuja Lebanon, umekuja Kuwait. Sasa kila mtu anataka umunini. Ati yo mamako ndio huyo anakupigia simu. Oh, uwezi somesha mtoto wa sistako wewe? Eh? Uko na pesa lakini uwezi somesha mtoto wa sistako? Niliwaza. Sijui nini? Eh? Ni kama ulikuwa una ni kama umeenda kufanya kazi uh, Lebanon ndio usomeshe mtoto wa sistako. Sistako amekaa hapo ndee. Radha kondio huyo 
ati brother yako anakuambia oh si zaki ninakwambia hivi nitumie pesa nipeleke bibi yangu maternity haki naomba unitumie pesa nipeleke bibi yangu maternity niende nimnunulie nguo za watoto sijui nini ha Muli, ulikuwa wapi wewe ulikuwa wapi wakifanya hiyo tu 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 we mwenyewe umeona afadhali utosheke na watoto wenye uko na wao at least wende uwatafutie tafutie lakini wao wameona afadhali wakae chini ju sister in law ako majuu ata ata provide kila kitu my friend utarudi Kenya mikono tupu the same people wenye unawatumia pesa watakuwa wanakuita majina wana, watakuwa wanakuangalia na macho inakaa siji aje watakuwa wanakusengenya huko wana, wanasema oh yani huyu alikuwa tu majuu amekuja bila kitu na wewe tu ndio umekuwa ukiwatumia pesa so please ladies and gentlemen please if you can save your money wisely invest your money I understand what wengine wameacha. Guys, I'm going to Kenya. Na if you feel you feel like where you you have le, you have left your kids, they are not safe. I will take care of your kids. Just holler me. I've seen so many cases. Watu wanakuja wananiambia, "Oh, niliachia rafiki yangu watoto, watoto wangu wanateseka." Hmm? Guys, kama umeachiwa watoto na mtu akaenda majuu. Tosheka na kile ambacho kidogo unatumiwa. Imagine like hapa like Lebanon, let me talk about Lebanon. Lebanon kuna watu hata wanafanyia kazi 15,000. Imagine mtu amekutumia 10,000, amebaki na only 5,000. Anakwambia hizo fanyia watoto shopping. Wewe na wewe ni nani? Oh, wewe una, umenitumia 10k, unafikiria 10k inaweza fanya nini hapa Kenya? Maisha hapa Kenya imepanda. Kama si hivyo, wewe kuja uchukue watoto wako. Na juu umetuma 10k, watoto wako utapata hata mtoto wa 7 years, hata wa 5 years. Anajua kuosha nyumba na kupanguza sijui huko. Utapata watoto wako ndio wamekuwa housemaid wa hiyo nyumba. Utapata hata watoto wako hawana awa, amani. Watoto wengine hata watakukujia yapo tuanze kulia wakikuona. Juu ya yale mateso ya guys be nice to your kids. And kama umeachiwa mtoto please be nice. You know kids are always innocent. Wakati ambao unatesa mtoto wa mtu ju maybe utumiwi pesa enough. Don't fear mamake, don't fear neighbors but fear God who is in heaven. Ndio maana hata watu wengine unaona hawaendelei. It is very unfortunate. Mimi niko na cases mingi. Wengine hata wame, waliachia wa, watoto wao mama yao, mama yao amewakula kichwa. Hmm? Unapata mtu wako hapa Lebanon, anatumia mamake 15,000 yote na bado mamake ana complain. Unapata huyo mtu maybe amechukua watoto akapeleka children's home. Na uko na mamako ako alive biological mother. Unapata huyo mtoto huyo mtu amechukua watoto wake kutoka kwa mamake mzazi amewapelekea mzee yani baba yao Yani I know how Kenyans in Gulf wengine wanateseka Unaona mtu ako kwa nyumba ya Mwarabu alipata wa boss wazuri anakula vizuri anapewa kila kitu lakini amekonda kwa sababu watoto wake they are not safe back at home. Nileteni watoto I will take care of your kids guys. If you think your kids are not safe, I will take care of your kids. Inauma sana, inauma sana guys. Ai. Wengine hata wanatuma pesa watoto wao wanunuliwe mangua, hawanunuliwe mangua. Majirani ndio wanaenda huko wanachungulia, wanapiga picha, watoto wameenda chachi wanakaa chokora. Jamani tunaelekea wapi? I know, I know wenye muna watch video you know what I'm talking about. Na mimi sita, sijataja jina ya mtu ama sijataja kabisa kabisa. I'm just giving you an example. Ama girl online media na huwa nawaletea kila kitu hapa. Mtu anakuja anaongelelea mamake vibaya vile anataka. But mimi si, mimi nilisema sitaingililia na siwezi pinga because i don't know the situation right 
So guys, aje ni tumalizi hapo. Let me know what you think about it at the comment section. Don't forget to share, like and turn on the notification bell. And uh, bye bye for now.